first levels of introspection Tripping over my own reflection I'm not sure I have the bandwidth to think of all that. It, I would combust. It's, it's been a, a very silver lining filled year and it's exciting to be able to put out a body of work that has my whole entire heart inside of it. I don't miss your attention Needing it so bad how you never mentioned Well, I wrote a song called Dangerous Levels of Introspection um, because I was having a, a, a recklessly nostalgic day. I think there's, a, there's a, a level of nostalgia in emotional analysis which brings us closer to our own lives and can be beautiful and has us living deeper and feeling deeper. And then there's a line that you cross where that same nostalgia and emotional analysis can just ruin everything. This album lives right on that line. Getting over you Getting over you Just feels like One last way that I got left to lose I have a, have a lot. I wrote so many songs for this album, 70 that were considered, and I rewrote every song so many times. So I, this is such a crap answer, but I do love every line on the album for different reasons, things that stick out. I love in more of you, um, I probably love you, but it freaks me out saying it. This feels too different to have the same name for it. I like that line. There's a line in For Emily, uh, I say, she's hot and she's familiar, so you let her treat you badly which is something I've found myself saying to people I love at times. We wrote Like That together, one of the singles on the album, um, and a bunch of the songs are both about her and some of them with her. If the world was ending, you come over right. Yeah. I shouldn't be here. Oh, I shouldn't be here. Oh, I. I shouldn't be here. Oh, I. I had heard from some mutual friends that he liked some songs I was a part of, which was extraordinarily flattering. So I messaged him to tell him that that meant the absolute world to me because I loved him. Um, and he wrote back and said really shockingly nice things. So I invited him to come hear the album and he played on one of the songs, which m me, as who I am currently, was so beyond excited by. But younger me, f listening to Continuum every single night of his life, was just running circles of excitement around my chin. I wonder how I crossed your mind I think all the videos for this album, there, <laughs> there are poetic, conceptual, expensive videos that can tell a story really well. But for this album, it's so personal and so intimate that I felt like the, the most appropriate way to visually tell this story was just with as much reality as possible. So Julia directed the video for Like That, and more of you I just did with friends, and it was all animated. And then for the Dangerous Levels of Introspection video, we rented a 60s camper van and drove up to Sequoia and jumped in a river and filmed it all. It was a really fun day. Even if the music video would have sucked, super fun set. Yeah, there's a bajillion ways to be successful, so don't trick yourself by thinking the way someone else has done it is the way you have to do it. That took me a long time to figure out, but it's been super useful. Uh, my guiding principle is just to be honest. I find I don't know how to tell anyone else's stories, but if I can really get close to what it feels like to be myself, I'm basic and I share <laughs> a human experience with hopefully a few billion other people that if I can just capture what it feels like to be me, it'll feel a little bit like what it's like to be them as well. Maybe you're not love anymore Maybe you remind me of it Maybe you're not love anymore Maybe you're what keeps me from it What keeps me from it